Let's get to know more about this new variant of COVID-19 and how we're faring in our fight against the deadly disease. Joining us now is Dr. Cynthia Saloma. She is the executive director of the Philippine Genome Center. Ma'am, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you very much for having me, Ria. Good morning to everyone. Dr. based on what you know and the data that you've gathered, is the Philippines still free of this new COVID variant? Um, so far, Ria, we have done uh, sequencing and biojournal uh, surveillance based on our project sponsored by the DOST uh, PCHRD. And uh, up to the October uh, samples we have, we have not detected the virus, uh, the particular variant of the, uh, from the UK. All right, so, so far. So, uh, Ria, what we're going to do now in coordination with the Department of Health, the RITM and the NIH, is to go back at our samples from November to December, and that uh, we are going doing that this week, to look if we have some hospitalized patients, for example, who have uh, this particular variant. And going forward, our government and uh, the agencies of the government, uh, these include uh, the DOHRITM, the National Institutes of Health, and the Epidemiology Bureau, we are all uh, in this together, so uh, we can sequence positive cases from the airport. They will be brought directly to the Philippine Genome Center for whole genome sequencing. All right, so right now the data we have is still just on samples uh, from October We cannot say this definitely year. that it have. We may or may not have, but so far we don't have evidence. All right. Ma'am, can you explain to us uh, what is the, in layman's terms, what is the difference between a variant and a strain? Okay, so it's a little bit confusing to a lot of people, and they've been using this interchangeably. But when we say strain, we are referring to the SARS-CoV strain. So it has a, a certain kind of biological functions, as well as, of course, immune response. So what we talk about when we refer to as the UK variant it is because from the original SARS-CoV-2 uh, strain we have, it has developed a lot of mutations that, uh, are, that are distinct enough to to be a little bit different from the original Wuhan strain. So in that particular case, we say variant because it has accumulated certain mutations. Okay, so variant is the right term to use Correct. Uh, when we're talking about this new uh, transmissible variant uh, that, w that seems to have originated um, in the UK. Now, we need to understand that mutations um, in, in viruses is, is absolutely normal, but I guess what a lot of people are worrying about is potentially how dangerous could future mutations become? Because the one right now seems just more transmissible, but not more deadly. Correct. So, Surya, the, in the normal evolution of the virus, it's, all, it's always uh, possible that they will mutate. Even within the body of the individual, they mutate. So, uh, some mutations are neutral. Uh, that means they don't have any diff, um, effect. And some mutations will be deleterious to the virus itself, so the virus will die or will not be able to replicate. And there are also some mutations will be, that will be deleterious or uh, dangerous to the host. And this is something that we all, uh, we all have to watch out for. But just because there is a mutation, it does not necessarily mean that it's going to be dangerous. All right. Is there anything we can do scientifically to predict or prevent a virus from becoming more dangerous or deadly? Oh, uh, definitely. For example, if we, can, if we are able to control the transmission of the virus, so there are very few hosts upon which it can mutate. So I think that is the most effective. We really have to control the transmission and the um, number of individuals that are infected so that we can control the ability of the virus to keep on mutating in the hosts. All right. Uh, thank you for that. We do appreciate all the work you do, Doctora, uh, and for giving us your time. That was Doctora Cynthia Saloma from the Philippine Genome Center.